What's up everybody? It's Ace from Court Order. Appreciate you being here with us today. We're doing a, a drum playthrough um, here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, shout out to Revolt Entertainment for working with me today. I'm really excited to have you guys as a part of our process and, you know, really stoked to have you guys walk through it. So, let's go. Beautiful Orlando, Florida. I know right now the rest of the states are getting clipped, so. Yeah, we got really lucky. So shout out to our fans in Texas that are struggling right now. I know that it's getting clobbered up there and to our family in New York also. I know it's brutal winter. So uh, hopefully when you guys see this, you know, we can convince some of you guys to join us down here. Really excited. Today we're working on uh, the, the drum performance on split between a, dr uh, a dream and a failure. So that single's coming out. Uh, by the time you see this, it'll already be out. Drops on February 26th on Blood Blast uh, distribution. So really excited to finally get that out of the bag. Uh, I know we mentioned already we had a, a video series that we put out and uh, it was talking a lot about the business side of things and really appreciate all the support and everybody checking out those videos. Uh, so today really excited to have a, a little personal take on my process and how I get to the studio down here and uh, it'll be nice to get the kit out again. We haven't used this kit. Uh, since the Poor Excuse video last May. Uh, obviously there's been no shows and we've been doing everything in the studio at Hellhound uh, using their custom kits. So really excited to finally get an opportunity to use uh, my bad boy today. And you wanna talk about split between a dream and a failure. I think it's split between a dream and a nightmare. I think lugging this stuff around is like the bane of my existence. <laughs> Cool. So we're here. Asylum. I guess it's in there. When we walk in there, shit looks like a haunted house. So there's one thing that, that I wanted to touch on that when I was watching the series that we put out uh, last month, it was uh, really about the concept of persistence. I think now we're like a year into this whole thing where we haven't had shows in a while. The last show that we played was last February. And, you know, we hear a lot of... Uh, a lot of other bands struggle with fulfillment and just keep going and, and really str like struggling to just keep up and all this. And one thing that we talked about was doing anything that you can. So one thing that court order is all about is just persistence. And today, you know, is just a sign of that. So we're filming this playthrough here just as a sign of keeping going and evolving. And, you know, if you're working on a passion project, one thing that's key is, you know, what's next, right? We talked about the ads or the marketing or what song or the studio time, but you know, the, the, the ability to fulfill uh, on your own vision, you know, is, is paramount. You know, hopefully uh, today's video gives you something to think about and just doing things a little bit different that you might not necessarily be doing. For us to think of doing a playthrough in one of our songs was like the farthest thing when we were recording this stuff. So, you know, hope you enjoy. But yeah, I'm fortunate that I play a, uh, a pretty modest three piece with just a few cymbals, so, you know, once you get into playing tons of gigs, you start to kind of reevaluate your stuff. Eventually, you get to a point where you're playing two or three gigs a week, and it's like, you know, I used to hate the concept of a backline. Just, like, I always wanted to be my own, you know, have my own stuff out there. I get excited to bring it out of the house, but once you start bailing on work to get to the venues, like, the last thing you want to do is empty out your storage and bring your stuff out. So you start to really appreciate the back lines. You know, I'll say that for sure. So I play a, uh, I play a custom BIB kit. It stands for baby and belly. Shout out to Dennis. Dennis designed this kit. He's also done the kit for one of Ashley Simpson's drummers, but more notably, Mark Castillo of Barrier Dead fame played this exact same kit. Uh, on 2004's Cover Your Track, so it was a classic. Here we are at Asylum uh, in Orlando, Florida. 
Look at this awesome setup here. Finally got my kit in front of me. Got fresh heads, fresh sticks, fresh everything. It's been so long since I've got an opportunity to get this baby out of the house, so really excited to lay down this performance of Split Between a Dream and a Failure, out now on Blood Blast Distribution. We're really stoked to be here uh, working with Revolt Entertainment on this release, and hopefully you guys dig the performance. Awesome, so that's a wrap on Split Between a Dream and a Failure playthrough. It was brutal. That song's gonna be haunting me in my dreams. But uh, yeah, I wanna thank Asylum Studios for having us here. Uh, Revolt Entertainment for working with us today. Shout out to my man Frank who spent the day getting us in there and filming all these awesome shots. And uh, really looking forward to getting this out there and hope you guys dig the new single. Again, just you know, make sure you guys are out there just doing the work, you know, regardless of what happens in 21 with shows or uh, in your communities or anything, just stay safe and just make sure you focus on something that gives you purpose. And, you know, as you're running into those closed doors, just find another one that'll open or, you know, if you need to kick one in, make sure you do so. But just, you know, stay committed to your passion. You know, we focus on this stuff a lot. And, you know, as we continue to develop the brand and as a band, uh, something that we notice is, you know, we, we don't always get what we want, but we're always evolving and growing and learning through it. And I think that as long as you focus on the work and you enjoy the work, then, you know, your job uh, is done and that's the reward itself. So, you know, there's that Hatebreed album, The Divinity of Purpose. And I always thought that that was probably one of the worst Hatebreed songs that I've ever heard. But uh, just the title of it alone, as long as you got something to focus on aside from your 9 to 5 that might be driving your head in, you know, you're on the right track. So. You know, stay safe and stay metal at Court Order HC. Check us out. Uh,